and I am a volunteer here on the Jelly Team, so I work with the Jellyfish program. This building was not original, they had to build this building afterwards. I guess there was originally a trailer here in addition to the aquarium, so they actually built a larger building so they could accommodate the lab and the classroom to be able to have classes down here. Typically, um, the days that I'm down here, I do the feeding of the jellyfish as well as water changes, and then I do general maintenance um, in the program as well as doing various um, scientific things like checking water quality and um, balances and that kind of thing. So. I'm Jenna Fallo, and I'm a volunteer here at the Mass Center. At the aquarium, we will show people around and teach them about our animals and different environmental problems and other things that are going on here at the um, at Redondo. What I've noticed about the Mass Center versus the larger aquariums is because we are smaller, um, especially during discovery days when we have the general public come in, um, it's nicer for families with smaller kids, younger kids, because um, they have a shorter attention span than older kids do, and the larger aquariums have so much going on that they lose interest really quickly. Um, so having a small aquarium is beneficial to the younger, the younger people in the population um, to be able to come out and uh, be able to, you know, look at the stuff that we have, be able to, to interact with the touch tanks. Um, but we also have the classroom, so students at Highland who take classes down here also have the benefit of being able to come to the aquarium and um, we're free to the public, so you can just come in on a Saturday for, you know, 10 minutes if you're walking by and, you know, not have to pay at the door and then be able to so they come from right out here in Redondo. We have divers that go down and they will collect fish, any fish that we need that we have on our list or any other species that we think would be really interesting in our aquarium. Sometimes we'll go all around the Puget Sound just to get some of the animals that we have here.